Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I'm here today to share with you my reading plans for March. And as it seems to be the theme for me that I'm not really finishing my books on any set monthly schedule, um, I'm going to talk about the books that I'm carrying over from February into March as well. So, um, February is a short month, we all know it, but somehow um, I'm carrying over more books than I was hoping to. So the books from my February TBR that are going to be continuing into at least the first few days of March are Crossroads, I Live Where I Like by Coney Benson. Um, this is a um, nonfiction graphic novel about a specific area of Cape Town that was uh, inhabited by people who were displaced um, and the kind of political turmoil and the the history of this specific area told through the narratives of up to, up to 60 different people in this research project that Coney Benson undertook and wrote a thesis about. And so this um, graphic novel is a, uh, a result of that work. So I'm about halfway through this and this will be finishing up this week. Um, the Diary of Anne Frank, which I am almost halfway to this one as well. I'm going to be finishing this up. We will be going to visit Anne Frank House while we're in Amsterdam um, in two weeks. So um, just refreshing myself on this book. Uh, I also was reading Juan, a novel by Don Promislav uh, in uh, or Promislo in. February and carrying that over into the beginning of March. I'm hoping to also finish this one before we leave for South Africa on March 4th. So, so this one is a wrapping up this week. This is set in 1970s uh, South Africa during apartheid uh, in Johannesburg. We follow an artist who it lives a very privileged white South African life and yet is very um, unsettled and upset and angry at the political situation and the way that black and people of color are treated in South Africa and so they make a decision to um, to hold a, to house a resistance uh, fighter uh, on their land in secret and it's kind of this it's got a very psychological aspect to it of you know how that affects her as a person knowing what she's doing is breaking the law and all those types of things. And then I'm also carrying over Black Lion by Cicelo Mabata with Bridget Pitt. So I think this book is going to come with me to South Africa because I haven't started it yet. Um, so I'm really actually excited to have this with me and potentially be reading it um, in the uh, countryside and, and bush of South Africa while I am there. So I think it'll be great to read nonfiction about um, a nature activist in South Africa while I'm actually in South Africa. So this one is coming with me there. Um, so because we're traveling and it's not very practical to bring a lot of books when you're trying to pack light, um, I, uh, like I said, will be bringing back Lion. And then the other physical book I'm going to bring with me is In the Field, a novel by Claire Tacken. And this is for my Read Across Canada TBR. This is the Nova Scotia selection. This novel follows Ellie Lucan, who um, left her small town in Nova Scotia to get a doctorate in soil science. And her husband is a prominent academic and their children are excelling in their school, but Ellie then loses her job and decides to go visit her mother in the small town in Nova Scotia where she grew up with her sons. And when she gets there, she realizes that her mother has dementia and has been struggling um, and she didn't know about that. So it's kind of about her trying to fix this situation with her mother and also reconcile um, coming back to this little town where she grew up. Um, and these type of stories are ones that I always really enjoy. So I'll be bringing this book with me to read on vacation. And then the other books that I have pre-decided that I'm going to be reading are ones that I will take 
in ebook format and audio format. So for my ebook, I'm going to be taking The Parisian by Isabella Hamad, which was one of my big books, five star predictions for 2023. And I'm going to use that, uh, read that on my iPad. And this book is set post World War One. Um, and follows a Palestinian man as he travels through um, the ravages after World War I through France and uh, reconciles the, um, the newly, you know, the Palestinian experience in this time pre-Second World War. So it's an, I think it's an interesting exploration of um, a very specific perspective of Europe and the Middle East that I haven't really learned about before, so I'm very excited to read this novel. And I've chosen two audiobooks to listen to while I am there. One of them is The Soul of a Woman by Isabel Allende, the very famous Chilean author. This is a work of nonfiction that is about her experience growing up in Chile as a feminist and as a woman and how, you know, how that has affected her as a writer and how it has affected her life. So I haven't actually read any of Isabel Allende's um, fiction. So I often kind of do this. I start with someone's nonfiction. Um, it just sounded really compelling to me as an audiobook, and um, so I'm really interested to read to listen to this, and then potentially pick up one of her novels in future as well. And then the other audiobook that I like to read, listen to while I'm on vacation is *The Glass Hotel* by Emily St. John Mandel. Um, I read *Station Eleven*. I think two years ago, and I really, really loved it. I actually listened to Station Eleven on audio as well. Really enjoyed it. Um, so because there's potential uh, for book two prize reading down the line that I may get The Sea of Tranquility, it is one of the 48 finalists for the book two prize in fiction, um, I definitely want to read um, The Glass Hotel before I read The Sea of Tranquility, so I chose to listen to this one this month as well. Um, and The Glass Hotel, it, I think it, it sounds very um, disjointed when you read the descriptions of what this is about. There's like a Ponzi scheme um, and there is a um, mysterious disappearance and um, it's all kind of set in these really interesting worlds that um, Emily St. John Mandel creates with her work. So that's all I really know about it and that's all I want to know before I get into it. Um, and yeah, so those are the books that I'm planning to take with me. If for some reason I end up reading a ton and I need to download something else, I will just download another audio or ebook um, while I'm there. But Judging by the way my reading has been going for the last two months, I would say that if I finish all of these, I'll be pretty happy um, to report to you at the end of March. So uh, that is the reading update for the end of February 2023, and um, I will be back again soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching.